Hello and welcome to this special Gettysburg Under the Stars video about the autumnal equinox, the first day of fall. That moment of the equinox is about to occur as I make this video. What does it mean? What do the seasons mean? Well, first we can forget the hoaxes about balancing things like brooms and eggs. The root of the word is equal nights, and indeed the days and nights are roughly equal now. Due to some technicalities about the way sunlight bends through the atmosphere and the way we calculate the time of sunrise and sunset, if you look it up in an almanac, you'll see that it's not quite exact. But that is, again, the root of the word. That is not, however, the scientific definition of equinox. Let's see what is. There we have the sun at the time of equinox. According to the definition, the equinox itself is the moment at which the sun, from our perspective on Earth, crosses a line known as the celestial equator. It's parallel to the equator of the Earth. It's the red line right there. When the sun crosses that line going from the north to the south, that is, the September, or for those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, autumnal equinox. That is the scientific definition. That may not give us a great insight, however, into the seasons. So let's have another look. This is a diagram which probably you're pretty familiar with. I should point out that the size of the Earth is massively magnified in this view, giving somebody the idea that the one hemisphere is actually appreciably closer to the sun and the other hemisphere is farther away. That's not right. It's the tilt which makes the difference. Have a look at this image of the Earth right here. This is what you would get if you looked at the Earth through a telescope from the Sun and took a picture every day of the year and put them all together into an animation. This gives you a pretty good idea of what's happening. The sunlight is falling more directly on one hemisphere for part of the year and more directly on the other hemisphere for the other part of the year. The way we perceive the seasons from Earth has everything to do with the path of the sun in the sky. Now this is kind of a fisheye view, it's a little bit hard to get a hold of, but that is the path of the sun on June 21st from our latitude. It rises well to the north of east and on the equinox, this is the September equinox, it could really be either one, the sun rises due east, crosses lower in the sky, and sets due west. The winter solstice, December 21st or thereabouts, the sun rises way in the south of east and sets in the south of west and takes a really shallow path through the sky. These three paths of the sun together create how we perceive the seasons. We get stronger sunlight and longer sunlight in June and weaker sunlight and less of it in December. 